It's official friendly season in England is back and uh, that means I'm back watching some football again. Uh, I've come to South London today to Carshalton because uh, I was weighing up a couple of grounds I've not been to before and uh, this was the one that, um, well, let's just say it had an enticingness about it that no other game had. So for today's entertainment, I was weighing up a couple of options, some closer to home, me and Kent, because there were plenty of games on, but all at grounds I'd already been to. Uh, the same with Dulwich Hamlet, although it's always a good day out there. Um, so there was a couple other ones, but the clincher for here, for this game that I've gone for today, is that they were offering free entry. You just, you know, you can't beat that, can you? At the end of the day. Taking on local rivals, Croydon Athletic. So yeah, let's get inside and see what's going on. Speaking to the steward because I noticed that the um, club shop and the uh, all the food is low, which is obviously a bit odd. And um, I was wondering, are they not expecting a big? attendance today but apparently it's meant to be not far off what a normal match day looks like see a local derby and free entry you can't really go wrong can you just can't beat strolling around a non-league ground and seeing a nice bit of broken post just lying there Good, um, like behind goal shelter generally, but I don't know what's happened to the the net. It's really warped, particularly back there. It's just sticking out. I don't know what's happened here. Probably better terrace step this. Goes all the way along the side as well. Must say, I'm a bit of a fan of this ground. It's got a lot of fun quirks. A bit of non-league ground jail here. There's no way out. Only kidding, it's just a random gate. Just in this little nook over here. God knows why. I'm sure it has a use, but I just can't think of it. Chilling at the football with all my mates. There's three of these. I'd love to know the story. Why is, why is that? Keep it quiet, don't tell anyone, but I think I found the secret corner. Look at that, some breeze blocks and a roller and a bunch of sacks of, I don't know, what is that? I think those are the um, uh, the 3G dots, looking, judging by the floor anyway. You know, the Astro Turf balls. Well, there you go. Free access to those if you come here. Very nice sticker collection as well. Even got a pink panther involved. Doesn't matter who you are. Less than a fiver for a pint in London. Absolutely unheard of. Ladies and girls, please welcome onto the pitch the players of AFC Croydon Athletic and Coshawn Athletic. Players have come out, the root sandstorm in the air, and even the sun is attempting to make appearance. Bear in mind, it is July. <laughs> but yes, football in England is back. So we've got Castleton in the luminous number and AFC Croydon in the like an old West Ham shirt looking situation. One of those training ground routines you probably won't see ever again. If I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe there's a two league gap between these sides. So, Castleton on paper should be winning this quite comfortably. But this is the first game of pre season, so you know. Not been a lot of action so far.
That was actually really good. <laughs> Half time, all I can report is that one of the linesmen doesn't look like they know the offside rule. I mean, there was at least two opportunities killed by his flag. But, I mean, he was behind the last defender, I could see it from here. So I don't know what, don't know what the issue there was, but it's what it is anyway. A little break and then hopefully some goals in the second half. The forecast was not for it to be this nice, but... Keep it coming as a life so. The thing about the stadium was pretty nice. Free Wi-Fi at this level. You don't even get that in Premier League ground. They need to make, take notes, honestly. Carl Shelton were about to start the game with 10 men, but luckily the line had told them after counting all the players. And someone else has gone on. What a joke. Go on. Then a minute in, a number eight, he's been one of the best players on the park for my money, has put Carl Shelton ahead. Imagine if they were playing 10 v 11. Rob the keeper, teases mate up, 2 0, easy as pie, and suddenly the quality gap is showing a little bit. By the way, out of nowhere, what a lovely day for him. Carve them apart yet again. There's a wound being attended to. Man. I suppose I should cut their hair. Hopefully, nothing serious, of course. Pretty much stopped recording just after the foul happened, but yeah, penalty to this me and Premier Division side. I think the school one does flatter Carl Shelton a little bit, but all the same, it's been a no, there's been a quality gap, it's been pretty clear.